Content of everything. Who speaks Nippers? Global Waivers, FTK, Sestri in the building. You don't know the DDO. Yeah? Hashtag FTK in the building, in the park, live and direct. You don't know. Keep it live. COE, baby. Every day, all day. Huh? You want to say something? What do you want to ask me? Speak your stuff in it, man. Shall I start? Tell me when I start. Behind the mic. Ah, here. Shall I start? Okay, um, I'm holding this, uh, basically the new government. Ah, okay. The good thing about the Algerian government now is actually, actually trying to introduce English language as a global language in primary schools. And even education would be in English language. I'm Algerian. My name is Mr. Abdelazak Khalfi. I have a nickname, Andy. Uh, English language is taking over from French in a sense. But um, I'm much more against kicking out French language in Algeria. I think French language should remain in Algeria alongside with English language. And the initiative is to try to introduce it in primary school. Uh, in terms of history, we are linked to France, but even we have a great history with the British people. Um, the Berbers uh, trade, uh, used to trade with the Irish. Uh, the first um, civilist subtemus came to this country from Libya. Uh, Shakespeare was influenced one of the play of Shakespeare. Uh, Cleopatra, he got the information from Pluto, and Pluto got the information from Giba II, North African, who was born in Algeria. So there is a link between England and Algeria as well. And um, also the white slaves in North Africa. A million of white slaves in North Africa taken to Morocco, to Algiers during the 16th century, 17th centuries and uh, 18th centuries. And the youngest uh, slave uh, was Thomas Pillow. He was 11 years old when he was kidnapped. He was uh, in captivity for 21 years in Algiers and he managed to go back to his uh, village, Cornish, at the age of 34. So there's a link between Algeria and uh, Great Britain. And basically good news that English as a global language would be taught in primary school. I a question. Yes. You know, I'm a, you know that the native language of uh, Algeria and Morocco. Yeah. Don't you think if you establish so many different languages like English and French, people are going to forget the native language of Amazir, which people are very proud of? Like, is Amazir taught in Algerian schools? Well, it's really, to be honest. It's really, right? And because of this, don't you think they're going to forget the culture and they'll be uh, uh, you know, influenced by the colonizers? Don't you think that's a major concern for your country? It's, uh, well, in a sense, it's not really because. I tell you, the MSZ, uh, unfortunately, Arabic is the first language in Algeria. Yeah, I that, yeah. The standard Arabic. Yeah. Uh, MSZ language, there are initiatives in Tizouzou, in Kabylia, and in Morocco to promote MSZ language. The trouble with MSZ language is not now as powerful as Arabic language. So uh, they, are, they speak in different dialects. We have the South, the Tuareg. They speak Turki, the Shawi, they speak Shawi, it's kind of a dialect. Dialects of Amazir. Uh, Amazir, uh, the uh, Kabyle as well. So I, I agree with you, totally agree with Will you. Will you be we able should... to preserve Amazir then? Huh? Will you be able to preserve Amazir if, we, if you believe it's not as modern, because you believe it's quite behind in terms of Arabic? You believe Ar Arabic has like more terminology, more semantics. You don't believe the same with Amazir? I'm sure Amazir is a beautiful language. It is a beautiful language. And Maybe in the future. While, uh, I think while... they're going to forget Amazir if you keep adding French and English and no, you know, no, adopting the colonial you know, powers and influence them. Don't you think you're going to forget Amazir and your culture is going to be forget uh, forgotten? Well, it is forget, uh, for, forgotten in Algeria. Well, there's a lot of people in villages in Maghrib in Algeria that speak I know, Amazir. I know. I agree schools with... and establishments and businesses. We should, in fact, this is a fair, good point. And I think we should promote Amazigh language as the first language. 100%. 100%.
then Arabic we give you some space, like studying the religion in Arabic. 100%. Then English language, a global language, but he can't kick out French. The reason why, because French is part of the Algerian culture as well. Curriculum as well and knowledge. But Amazir, you're totally right. That's you, the thing in it. I was just like wanted to know how Algerians and Moroccans will preserve the culture of Amazir because of the colonization that happened to Algeria and Morocco. It's affected you guys a lot in terms of your language and country, uh, culture, you know, preservations, everything. A lot of people have forgotten about it and they've adopted, like yourself, like you're very pro-colonies when it comes to France and French. And because no, of this... just French. No, 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 I, I try to correct you. Okay. If you talk about French language, yeah. French language, um, our kings and queens uh, before Islam, the Berbers, spoke uh, Demazir and Latin. So Latin, which French, deri uh, French is derived from Latin language, is actually before Arabic. So why can't you talk about Arabic language as an invasion as well? Why? Because we because, no, because it's of religion, right? People have accepted but, but the religion, religion of Islam, and when, Arabic helps you understand their religion better, right? You agree upon that premise. So I think Arabic is very important. And plus, they, they like the language as well. They like Arabic and they like Amazigh from the Maghribis and Jazeeris that I spoke to. They like I, I don't believe. But they're not happy with the French language being established in all, you know, curriculum, schools. Maybe because of the colonialism and how much it's affected their country. And they don't want to adapt the, the language of the colonialism. But I understand it's benefits as well, French. A lot of knowledge, books, institutions. So I understand. Of course, yeah. Just I think hopefully in the future, maybe hopefully in the future, yeah. English, um, uh, Demazir would be kind of the first language uh, we, we can study is that everything. what you're promoting? Uh, is, that what you, is that what you're promoting? Uh, no, I'm, I'm promoting English language. Okay, so you want English as well added into Algeria and Morocco? Yeah, I think 95% of Algerians voted for English to be taught in Algeria. Instead of French or just added into French? Added, giving much more importance. Oh, okay. yeah, like I subjects in maths and physics and yeah. science. Language in, is in important, English. I do. Especially yeah, English. Because for, uh, for the uh, own research, future research actually. But I'm, I'm not demonizing, I'm, I'm not saying Arabic is not, um, Arabic is always there anyway. Nobody can kick it out Arabic. Is it finished? Is it finished? You know, it's still recording if you want to talk about anything else if you want. I think that, that's all basically. Well, you don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I was going to mention a topic, I don't know if you were interested in it. What topic? Like if you, if you want to be on camera about French, French colonialism and the benefits and the impacts and the effects. Well, Last week we spoke about it. I'm, I'm not sure if you want to speak about it again. If French colonialism French. is a benefit for Algeria or is a, you know, a side effect? Do you believe French colonialism is benefit, beneficial for Algeria or do you believe it's very you know, disastrous for the culture and the country? It's, uh, well, it's very, very, it's a controversial subject. Yes. The question I would like to ask all Algerians, yeah. who caused the French to come? If we talk about the French uh, occupation in Algeria is a bad thing, which most people agree with that in Algeria. Uh, what about the Ottoman? Uh, who caused the French to come to our country? The Ottoman. Why can't we blame the Ottoman for 300 years? They occupied Algeria and they left the country and left us with the French. Now, were the Maghribi and the Amazigh people happy with the Ottoman uh, invasion of Algeria and Morocco? Because we know there's a caliphate well, well, that Because time. they're Muslims, they're Muslims and they so think they are coming they came to protect but us from the Spanish. Can I ask a question. Did the Ottomans massacre innocent uh, Algerians and Amazigh people just like the French did? Because we know the French Holocaust happened, where literally they killed innocent Maghribis, Amazigh, Arab people that lived in North Africa. There's a massive genocide, women, children, and so many people got killed, right? We, we accept this, yeah? We but know that. Nobody thing? can tell us. We know that. But the Ottomans desegregated the Algerians. They were second citizen. The Algerians? Of course, the during, the, the, during the Ottoman uh, Ottoman occupation in Algeria. I'm not too sure about that, that they were second class The Jews, the Jews were better off because they trusted the Jews, they didn't trust them. Algeria Wait, was not so a nation. the Ottomans trusted the Jews more than the Muslims in and North Africa? Yes. That's quite ridiculous to sound it. Ah. We knew Jews have a high status under the Muslim Caliphate. We treated them very well. The Golden Age came under our country. You should know that the, there are Jewish, there were Jewish who fought against the French. We for the liberation them. of no. Algeria, the but the, the Bumidian haven't spoken about them. No, but the Jews, majority of the Jews betrayed, at that time they betrayed the Muslims and decided with the French, hence why the Maghribis and Amazigh people kicked the French out of the country. Because they Who told them. you that? This is history. 
so history. You, the Jews did not side with Who the French. Who wrote the history? You said it yourself last week, didn't you? That when they in France they have their own homeland, it's beneficial for the Jews to rebel against the Muslims, so they can have. No, they didn't. No, no. Maybe somebody else. Maybe not. So, so basically, the Jewish people did not betray the Arabs or the. I'm not well, the, the Jews fought. Uh, uh, first of all, the Jewish Algerians have a history of more than three thousand. You can't kick them out. Uh, uh, why the Algerian government? What was the reason behind them kicking them out? Not because they're betraying. No, they, they were they, they were granted naturalization because they fought for that. They didn't want naturalization. But most of the Jews migrated to France and they had so many benefits and perks because they were once they betrayed the Arabs, I mean, sorry, the North Africans at that time, they were sent to France, you know, for protection. The Jews came to North Africa 300, 3,000 years. I'm not talking about that. We accept that. But We're also the Jews history. came uh, to North Africa in uh, 1492. After Spain, once the Spain, Christians yeah. conquered Spain. But there were so many decent Jews who fought against France with the Algerians. But the, the Algerian minority? government did not speak about them. Were they the minority though? Minority amount of Jews? I don't know. For example, Olga Macias is uh, Jewish Algerian. They didn't allow him to go and sing in Algeria. Why? Or um, uh, uh, Maurice Oda, I think he's Jewish. There's a long history between them, right? Yeah, yeah. We have. Uh, to me, I have no problem with the Jewish community to live in Algeria. Neither do most Algerians. They like Jewish people, but they just don't like the Jewish people that betray them and they support French colonialism in. I tell you, Algerians. Majority of Algerians do not know their own history because he was. Uh, um, written by the uh, the Algerian FLN and Boumedien made us hate the Jews and the and the French and he was actually supporting the Palestinians. I'm not against Palestinians, but we we paid heavy price for the Palestinians with the money of Algerians. But the Jews, there were so many writers, uh, singers, Jewish. And they, they, they were a positive contributor to the Algerian government. Yeah, and all North Africans accept this. Yeah. The only problem that they have is when the French colonialism came and they had the altercation and the Jews sided with the French. That's no, the no. only problem that they in have. 1870, they in 1876, the French manipulated the Algerians, the Algerian population, Muslims, to against the Jews. And they started looting and smashing the shops of the Jewish people. Not randomly though. No, manipulation because the Jews stood against the French. Not all of them. Of course not all of them. But so many Jews they they helped the Algerian independence. Yeah. But they never mentioned in the history books of Algeria. Why? We were diverse Nasha, we were diverse people. By the way, in uh, when France the last thing I would like to say when France invaded Algeria in eighteen thirty, after one year the French newspapers in Algiers, in Algeria, uh, published something. They said, we're leaving you to the Ottoman. The Algerians of the capital were begging uh, Marichal Clausel, please stay in Algeria. Wait, the stay Algerians, in Algeria. The Algerians are begging the French to stay in and colonize the country. In 1831. This is the hit in Algeria. So you're not happy with colonization then? No, I'm not happy with that. Please, at that time, please that makes no sense. stay in Algeria. We don't want the savage Ottoman, the Ottoman, to be ruled by the Ottoman. I've never heard that in my life. Of uh, course, yeah, uh, even the me. French colonies uh, rather than the Arabs. No, Despite we were they, not they a were nation. Not we were not a nation. We, we were and the Ottoman. Ottoman. Oh, like they left. They left the country. They left the country. But we need to establish that the French, I mean, the England North accepted. The North Africans, they stated that they wanted the French to stay and colonize their country. It doesn't make sense for any person to be happy with colonization. We were not a nation at that time. Not, we a, nation, were, not a country, not a political they, country. They negotiated with the Turkish, with the Ottoman. They left the country for us to fight against the French. You have to read the history. And also England bombarded Algiers in 1816. Why? Because of the white slaves in North Africa. The Turkish, nobody likes the Turks in Europe, the Turks in Europe. 
They brought slaves from Ireland. They brought slaves from the the youngest uh, slave was uh, Thomas Peter. When was the date of the genocide of the French in uh, North Africa? When was, what was the date? For what the, the genocide which the French people did in North Africa? What was the date of it? Where they killed, raped, innocent? I uh, know. I agree with what you. Was the date? It was, was on the eighth of May, nineteen forty-five. Yes. Where, uh, when everybody was celebrating the end of the Second War, yeah. we uh, the French massacred fifty thousand. Fifty thousand people. Imagine yeah. that. But when you read a book from the uh, point of view of the French. It would say that the, the Algerians who pushed them to do that. Of course, they're going to justify. It. They killed a lot of people. Of course, they're going to make some random narrative and justify oppression. That's what all uh, historians do. But there were decent French in Algeria. Maybe there were. They maybe fought there was. against the French. Then they well, why do we have to blame all the time France, France as Marine Le Pen is saying? We should, uh, as Algerians, we should construct our country. Look at the state of Algeria. Fall apart. Fall apart. Yeah. I'm not against the French language, I'm not against the French people, I'm against the French system at that time, Du Gaulle and so on. Thank you. I ended you. Yeah. 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 From Love Your Melody! Yeah. Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to I. On the current, yeah, that symbol. It's on the current. The eye of the wajet, yes. What's wrong? The wajet, they have that everywhere. The wajet is everywhere. They have amulets, they have it on the wall, they have it everywhere. So they're, so they're gods, right? No, but that's they, they, look at, no, no, they look at them as, as symbols of worship.